follower asked me about the window period for an HIV test, and this refers to the time between HIV exposure and when a test can detect HIV in your body. The window period depends on the type of HIV test used. Let me share the type of tests that can be used. So an antibody test can usually detect HIV 23 to 90 days after exposure. And most of these tests are rapid tests or self-tests. A rapid antigen antibody test done with blood from a finger stick can usually detect HIV 18 to 90 days after exposure. An antigen antibody lab test using blood from a vein can usually detect HIV 18 to 45 days after exposure. A nucleic acid test can usually detect HIV 10 to 33 days after exposure. If you get an HIV test after a potential HIV exposure and the result is negative, get tested again after the window period for the test you took. If you test again after the window period, have no possible HIV exposure during that time, and the result is negative, you do not have HIV. If you're sexually active and use needles to inject drugs, make sure to use safety precautions at all times. The CDC recommends everyone between the ages of 13 and 64 get tested for HIV at least one time. And I totally support this. I believe that if I had been tested years earlier, my health would not be in the situation it is today. If you have certain risk factors, you should continue getting tested at least once a year. These risk factors include if you're a man who has had sex with another man, you've had anal or vaginal sex with someone who is HIV positive, you've had more than one sex partner since your last HIV test, you shared needles, syringes, or other drug injection equipment. You've exchanged sex for drugs or money. You've been diagnosed with or treated for another sexually transmitted disease. You've been diagnosed with or treated for hepatitis or tuberculosis. You've had sex with someone who has done anything listed above or with someone whose sexual history you're really not familiar with. And another question that I get is, if you have a negative result, does that mean that your partner is HIV negative as well? No, your HIV test results only tell whether you are negative or positive. HIV is not necessarily transmitted every single time you have sex or share needles. And the chance of getting HIV varies depending on the type of exposure or behavior. Taking an HIV test is not a way to find out if your partner has HIV. I would suggest being open with your partners and asking them to tell you their HIV status. But keep in mind that your partners may not know, they may be wrong, or they may not tell you about their HIV status. Consider getting tested together so you can both know your HIV status and take steps to keep yourselves healthy. This is a lot of information. I hope that it was helpful. Please leave me questions, things that you're curious about and that you might not understand about HIV or divorce or any of the topics that I talk about. And as always, I'm sending hope and much love to each of you.